Oh, all right, here it is. The Endurance. Let's see, free gifts of purchase. You got the record player, the train, the record player and the train. Oh, no. Oh, I think I missed it. Oh, I think I missed it. Could I get a Trenta cold brew ad cream? Yeah, just a Trenta cold brew cream. Yeah. And that's it? Yeah, that'll do it. Awesome. I'll see you at the window. All right, thank you. Well, I did not intend on making this journey to the Brandon Mall on Black Friday, but yeah, um, the, the the thing I wanted was gone online. I, I should have, I went to sleep about 10.30 last night. I should have just stayed up until midnight and ordered it online, but uh, sometimes uh, the best laid plans of mice and men, I guess, is that the saying? I don't know, it doesn't look too crowded here at the Lego entrance. Let's go see if there's a line at the Lego store and hopefully the Lego store opens at seven with the rest of the mall. Okay, here's the first look. It does look like we have a line at the Lego store. So. There we go. Endurance? Okay, I got my ticket for the Endurance, but now I'm noticing all these Black Friday sale tags. Let's let's see what's on sale. Right, so these Harry Potter brick heads are on sale. Thirty nine bucks. Yep, we got three on the shelf. Got some other sale stuff here. Got the Phantom Menace brick heads are on sale. Some Minecraft sets. The Black Friday sale. There's the Black Friday board. Of course, you have the Endurance. The Shackleton lifeboat. They still have the free gifts of purchase of the train. And the new free gift is the Santa. Gingerbread and Christmas ornaments for Black Friday. I do love the art sets, but I'm still on the fence about this one. What do you think? Are we feeling the Mona Lisa or are we not feeling the Mona Lisa? It does look like a fun build. Here's the built version of the thing we came looking for. Wow. Look at that. That is a proper ship model. <laughs> Certainly glad I made the trip. That is one cool looking model. All right, let me let me check out. Ah, a painless experience here at the Lego store at the Brandon Mall. We got ourselves a Lego haul. The only thing that was a little challenging for me today was whether or not to use my Lego Insider points. I've got 16,000 points racked up which means I could have got $129 off of today's purchase. But one of the things that you can do with those Lego Insider Points is you can get you can get Lego sets off of the website that you can't get anywhere else. And there is a new nautical themed Lego set that really goes well with this endurance. And so I didn't want to use up too many of my points and I wasn't sure how to do the calculation. I'm sure they could have given me less of a discount or something like that. But uh, let me, I'll, we'll go back, I'll show you the Lego haul, and then I'll show you the Lego Insider set that I want to get. The, the tricky thing with the Lego Insider set is I think you have to order something online to get that. So with $129 off, essentially I could probably get a set for less than $129. And I can also, the points, it costs 2,400 points to get the Lego set on Lego Insider. Maybe I'll be able to make that a zero purchase and still get stuff shipped to my house. I don't know, we'll see how it works out. But first, let's get back. Ooh, so somebody stuck an advertisement on my car. Don't do that, but everybody got. But look at this, Cybertruck. How do we feel about Cybertruck? They're starting to be more pervasive. Cybertruck, electric. And then uh, let me get this thing off the car. You know people are just gonna throw this on the ground, which I think I think that's, you shouldn't, I hope security gets people to stop doing this. I know I sound like an old man, get off my lawn, but who wants advertisement stuck on their car? And you know, like I said, a lot of people are gonna throw it on the ground. Okay, who cares? We gotta let go. I'm, I'm heading back to show you the haul. All right, here's the haul. 
Now they were handing out the endurance in these shipping boxes, which is super convenient because they can put a little handle on it for you to carry and it protects it well while you're storing it. But wow, look at this. I cannot wait to build this 3000 pieces. And of course you saw it on display there. It is beautiful. And then fortunately I did not miss out on the gift of purchase. This wasn't available online. That's what predicated the trip to the Lego store, but this is Shackleton's lifeboat. I think this is gonna be the perfect, the perfect companion to the endurance build. I also picked up an advent calendar. I wanted the city calendar, but they were sold out, but I thought it'd be fun to make some short videos uh, to show you guys what's in a Lego advent calendar. So we'll do the Star Wars. It's 24 days, so we'll start that right before, well, the beginning of next month. I also hadn't picked up any of the Poncetias yet, and I couldn't decide whether one was going to be enough, because we have a lot of space to decorate. So two Poncetias. And then I also made a purchase of these cute little gingerbread ornaments. Uh, but wait, there's more, look at this. We still have some stuff. So you saw this from the Insider's Weekend Hall. They still had the record player gift of purchase. Also ended up with another one of the train gift wood purchases. And they also have the creator, little Santa Claus and reindeer. Again, I wasn't really planning on going to the Lego store, but I wanted to get that lifeboat. And now let's uh, let's head to the studio and I will I will order the the other marine. I struggle saying the word chrometer, chrometer, chrometer. Uh, we'll go look at it on the computer and figure out how to make this Lego Insider order with our Lego points. So uh, come along. So the uh, gift of purchase wasn't the only thing I missed this morning. I, I also missed uh, taking out the garbage in my haste to leave the house. I forgot to take the garbage can down. And of course, you know, you got a ton of garbage after Thanksgiving. So I'm here at the dump to get rid of some garbage. The mistakes that we made, you got to pay for them. He almost thought of them as family. To an extent, this is still reflected in the Lego group today because we strive to create trust and openness between the family owners and the employees. Man, th that Lego book is so good. I tried to read it in paper form. I tried to read it in digital form, but I'm really connecting to it in audio form. I'm, I'm digging that narrator. I do have a link to Audible in the description box below. You can get that Lego book audio for free if you're not an Audible member. It's like a free trial and you get one book. And uh, I think you can do all that without it costing you anything because you can cancel uh, if you want to do that. But I'll also leave the link to the paper book and the Kindle book. Either way, try to consume that Lego book. If you're a fan of Lego, that book is so insightful. I'm only about a fourth of the way through it. And uh, yeah, there's a lot of stuff I didn't know. So, uh, okay, uh, let, let's get in there and, and order this uh, Lego Insider set. Here we are on the Legos page. We go to Insiders and uh, okay. Great thing right now, you can sign up for the Insiders program for free and you can click this link. I've already done it to enter the drawing for 1 million Lego Insiders points. And this is what you can turn, you can turn points into dollars. Look at this, uh, $5 for 162 Lego Insider points. But here's a couple collectibles. You can do the uh, marine chronometer, 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 I don't know, help me out. Uh, you can redeem that for 2400 This tic-tac-toe is interesting. I just don't think I would play it, and I don't even think I would display it. So I'm going to try to redeem this award here. So uh, redeem award. I've got 19,000 points up there. Redeem award. And uh, let's see. So I'm redeeming it. Let's see what it says to do. Three easy steps to redeem. Redeem promotional code valid for 60 days on your next Lego purchase. Enter the promotional code at checkout. Your reward will be shipped with order. All right, so I have to order something. So I'm gonna copy this code. And I'm making this order right now, so don't try to use the code. Let me find something to purchase. Again, I think I have enough Lego points to make the whole thing for Lego points. I've never tried to do that, so uh, we'll try. I I'm also gonna try to get the discounted 
it looks like that other thing's cool. You get a discount on your Lego points. So it says you can uh, redeem 75% fewer points for a $5 discount voucher, 11.29 through 12.2. And you can get three of them. Now, the question is, can you use all three of them at a time? Uh, we'll try that. We'll try that. So I'm going to redeem the reward. So I'm going to spend uh, 486 points. Oh, that's cool. So now I have three codes for $5 off. All right. So I think I'm just going to get the Mona Lisa. That's a set I want to build. So we want to make sure that we get that chromometer. And we will add the code here and apply. All right, all right, so that's been added. Now let me see if I can add those other discount codes and see what it turns out like. All right, so yeah, this is working out great. I was able to use all three of those discounted $5 certificate that I got for 75% of the points needed. I've got the chromometer in the cart. I've got the Mona Lisa. So that's my total, $84.99, but I still have 151 in value of Lego points. So I'm gonna say use now. Ooh, what does this say? Use your points to unlock rewards. Okay, we're gonna do get a, get a discount. The max I can do is eighty four dollars. So we'll go up to eighty four dollars. The max. Can this slide? No, I guess it can't slide. Oh wait, there it is. Max discount. All the way eighty four dollars. Apply the discount. And uh, that makes my order total ninety nine cents. All right, so I'm paying a I'm paying something to get this shipped to my house, but uh, the, yeah, this is good. Well, that that could have been worse. I was able to get the gift of purchase that I wasn't able to get online at the store. I was able to use my points in a way that made sense. I'm getting the Mona Lisa for ninety nine cents. Certainly, it's because I purchased other stuff, but I'm also getting that chromometer and uh, got a discount on the Lego points. So, pretty solid Black Friday Lego experience for me. How about for you? Are you out there shopping for bricks today? Are you trying to find some Lego? What was the best Black Friday deal that you saw? Thanks so much for watching this video. If you'd like to see more, you can subscribe. And uh, yeah, thanks. This is Tony for Local Bricks, and I'll see you on the next video. Bye.